it is a dark, gloomy, wet, rainy day. But that's okay, because... Okay guys, tonight we are gonna start with the cooking segment because what we're gonna make needs to be refrigerated a little bit before we put it in the oven. Tonight we are making sausage jalapeno popper pinwheels. These things are so delicious. Actually, this is the first time I've ever put jalapeno in them, <laughs> but I can't imagine they're not gonna be delicious. I make jalapeno poppers the same way, just without the breading. So this time we're just gonna do it a little bit different. We're gonna use the same kind of fathead dough that we made last week with the cheese, an egg, almond flour, and a little bit of baking powder. And then we're gonna move on to the filling. After you have your dough made, you're gonna roll it out with a rolling pin, real flat like so. And then we're gonna set it aside while we make our filling because we're gonna roll it up in here. What we're gonna use for our filling, a roll of sausage, cream cheese that's been softened, shredded cheddar, onion, and diced jalapenos. And the only reason I'm using diced jalapenos out of a can is because they didn't have any fresh ones. First thing we need to do is dice the onion. Okay guys, we've got that done. It is getting dark out, so we need to move on to the next thing. But first we need to put this in the fridge for about 45 minutes. That's exactly why we started with, uh, with the cooking in this episode. Okay, so while that stuff is in the fridge, we are going to make our t-shirt. Tonight we're actually going to skip going out to the family video because I already have a movie I want to watch but I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. First, we're going to make the shirt. Then I have something special we're going to make. And then I'll tell you what the movie is if you don't figure it out by then. I honestly don't know what we're going to put on this shirt yet. But I have all these extra note letters from, uh, you know, the other shirts that we made. I have gold and I have black. And I had some big iron-on letters, but I can't find them now. I even have like some of these that are rainbow or something. But I don't know what I did with all of them. So let me see what I can make up here and uh, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I figured out what we're gonna do here. I just gotta cut these out.
Okay guys, this is part one. Here's the shirt for the night. It was aliens. Look at that. <laughs> okay guys, I gotta heat up the stove here. 350 degrees. I'm gonna go change. I'll be right back and we got one more thing to make before we finish our food. It was aliens! Okay guys, for this next part, this is very important. We're gonna need the tin foil. <laughs> I'm not talking about just any tin foil. This is Reynolds Wrap, 18 inches long, heavy duty tin foil. And if you don't know what we're about to make, you're not ready for our movie tonight, which is Signs. Guys, if you've never seen Signs and you have no idea what this is, <laughs> you've got to see this movie. They put brain protectors on. Tin foil hat brain protectors to protect their brains from the aliens. And now we will finish our crop circle jalapeno popper pinwheels. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, take this off of here, get a fresh piece of parchment paper, and we're gonna slice this up into little pinwheels. Okay, those are all cut up. They're not very pinwheely looking at the moment, but they're going in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. Get over what a fool I look like with this thing on my head. <laughs> okay, so if you've never seen the movie Signs, basically these giant crop circles start showing up. And uh, uh, I don't want to give too much away if you haven't seen it, but the crop circles show up, and then so do the aliens, and they basically have to win against the aliens. So we'll leave it at that. But I'm just telling you, if you see it, you're going to need a brain protector. <laughs> Oh yeah, guys, look at that. Cheese, sausage, onions, jalapenos, mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Wrapped up in their own tasty crop circles. <laughs> now I will tell you, this is another recipe that I originally got from Catherine Michelle. I get a lot of awesome low-carb and keto recipes from her. And let me tell you, when you hear those words, don't get scared, because this stuff is delicious. But in her recipe, she just uses uh, the sausage and the cream cheese. And I knew there had to be something missing, something that would make it even better. So that's why we added the uh, the onions and the jalapenos. So I'm going to let these cool down for a minute, and then we're going to have a little taste, and I'm going to go watch this movie. Okay, I think they're cool enough now. Look at that. Little crop circles of sausage, jalapeno, and onions and cheese. Mmm, smells pretty tasty. Mmm. Mmm. That is amazing. So good, even the aliens would like it. Oh, crap. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Mm -mm -mm. Seriously, though, guys. Those are delicious. But it's the hot where, like, you'll eat about three of these and then it'll hit you. All right. I'm going to watch the movie. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell so you never miss a show. And there's something awesome coming up, guys. I will see you right here next Saturday.